All right, y'all. So the things you're gonna need today are obviously like a felt fabric that's could be wool or synthetic. We have some fabric scissors, paper scissors, some like regular piece of paper. And then we have some pens and a pencil. And this will be used to make our pattern for the beret and this will be our fabric. And you know, the pins will just help us keep everything together while we're sewing. And that's basically all we need, obviously, a sewing machine as well, but I'm pretty sure you, you wouldn't be here unless you have one trying to make one. You could do it by hand, but it will take a while. And working with felt by hand, it's it'll probably be a little trickier. So <laughs> do it all at your own risk. So are you guys ready? Because I am. So I'm moving to the next scene. Okay. So right here we have this paper and pencil. And for this beret, we need two circles that are exactly the same. And you cut two out of this. Then you use this long piece to cut a strip that's about 21 centimeters, but you need to add a little extra, so 22 for some allowance. Oh, my bad. Okay. And then you'll probably just be able to use this. This is exactly 21. I didn't consider the same allowance when I cut it, so I just have to remember about that when I'm cutting the piece out. And it will be on fold, that's why it's like this. It's, you know, it's half of the cutting you'll have to do if it's on fold. So, there go. Boom. Boom. And for measurements, let's get right into it. Because I know you're probably asking me, like, what the measurements are. And there's no point in me just showing you the shapes of anything without really telling you. So the radius of this, circ well, both circles, is... Let's do centimeters first. Six centimeters. So you do six centimeters, and then you kind of go all around, making your circle. I'm not even sure if that's the, the middle point. That's about six. Six. And you kind of do that. Actually, hold it. So now we have the middle point because I fold it the other way. So it's about six and a half. Figured. Six and a half all around. You can see it ends right here. And the middle point, six and a half as well, right here. And then right here as well. Six and a half. So that's the radius, and that will give you a circle V fit to cover the head of your smart doll. So you cut two of these circles, so there's no point in just going ahead and just tracing one all over. Just once you get your first one, just go ahead and cut it out and trace it, trace it over. And trust me, you'll save yourself a lot of time. So now this one, it's exactly just a half one. Measure it's 11, it's 10 and a half inches. I mean, centimeters, centimeters, 10 and a half centimeters, centimeters, let's not forget. 10 and a half centimeters, and when you unfold it, it's 21. So, but don't forget, you need to add 22 or 22 and a half and cut that off until you have 21 once you sew it shut. So, okay. So, with one of these circles, just one, you're gonna have to. And mark like mm. Let's do Let's see. So this is three. Uh I'm not gonna draw on that. So it's three points. So go on the second little thing. So remember, just fold it four ways, like once and a half, and then the other side in half, and then you'll have the middle line for both sides. And it'll be way easier to center this point so you can do your little radius. Second line. Again. Second line. 
As you can see, we're making another circle. And this is where. Just gotta make sure it's like the middle part of this is right in the middle marker of this and you just tilt it a bit to get your markings and sooner than later you'll have a little circle going for you and it'll be way easier to dry it out so I think I have enough now to kind of okay so once you cut this in half I mean not cut it in half once you cut this circle out and open it A little stand for your beret. And then this will be what lines your, you know, little band that goes around here to help it stay on. So these are all the powder pieces you'll need. And you know, you could totally find the halfway point, like I said, just fold it in half and you'll find like the exact halfway point. Yeah, the circle's a little off, but I don't really mind. Okay, and it'll be right here. You could make a little hole, or just sew a little button there, or you could do, cut a little piece strip of the felt and just put it through, and then you can stitch it on, or you can just kind of knot it so it doesn't call, come out, but you have to make sure the hole isn't, isn't like too big. It's totally optional. I have my first hat, my first beret that I made. Was made from muslin, just to test out the pattern. <laughs> and even though there was some defects, and there were some things that I did with the muslin that I'm not able to do with felt because it's too thick. So this is my first one. I <laughs> messed up and sewed it backwards or in the front. Tried my best to fix it, but it's a little messy. So, and this just came with the coat. All this felt, I didn't buy it. It came from an I do alterations and. I had a job to alter and shorten a wool coat, so I had a lot of scraps left over and I went ahead and just kind of decided to make some braids out of it. Who wants to waste wool and felt? Come on. It's too pretty. That's how it came out. But as you can see, it's not <laughs> nice. It's a little messy. It was, it's a prototype, so that's what they're for. Put it back over there. We have our pieces and now we're gonna cut everything. Once we cut everything, we'll get some. And I've decided to use this machine that has white thread just so you guys can see where the stitches are. And hopefully it won't be too messy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my fabric and show you how I'm gonna pin everything and then I'll you know, show you the rest. Okay, so we have the machine ready. 
And what we're just gonna do. Remember this. Remember, I'm doing white stitching just to show you kind of how it'll look, the stitching and. I'm just pinning in some places just to prevent it from moving. Stitch. Look, mm, no, it's not always super even. <laughs> I started off over here, but I realized that this is just better to give it more space. So, take the pins up. This is the machine so soothing with the noise. I just love it. I love it. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and notch right here, all over. So when we turn it, there's no puckering and it's like a perfect, nice little circle. And if you see like a little pucker when it, once you turn it around, just go back and check where the pucker is on the wrong sides of the fabric. And it's probably because you've missed a spot that really needs a notch and you could do all of these and still have that, so don't worry. We're gonna go ahead and sew this together to make our little band. Good, careful. <laughs> this machine's new, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. I would just trim this just so there's no bulk when you 
try to turn it to stitch it. So from here, I'm just gonna get it, pound it. It's always a little, I always get a little brain fart sometimes when I'm pinning. Just put it in like this and follow along. Make sure your seam is facing out into the circle because we're gonna eventually, once it's sewn once, we're gonna fold it up and sew it once again. Just so we don't leave this raw edge right here. actually gonna start where that seam is right here okay so you kind of just stretch it out and I'm gonna have to go real slow on this one I just if you open it a little bit So just kind of do the same thing, open it little by little. Don't forget to remove your pins because you do not want your machine to sew over that and end up breaking your needle. shift while I'm removing the pin. can see we went all around we put it in and we sewed really close actually a little too close to the edge because some of this didn't get caught so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that but as you can see if you go really close on the parts where it, that's my cat where it does sew it's really good so I'm just gonna get the parts that weren't really sewn so with those. I do recommend that you kind of start off where the stitching left so it doesn't create like a weird um like a weird little start where you when you turn it inside out you'll be able to tell like where a new little stitch line starts if it's not matched up properly to the previous stitch line with the first one. Okay, so here it is. We kind of just sewed over it. It was open. And we still have this one. So I'm just gonna bring it over like that. 
go to the machine one more time. It's a little messy, but it's going to be covered, so it doesn't really matter. Just trim all those little threads. Some of them got sewn into the little stitch lines. I swept my floors this morning, but apparently it's all going downhill from now. <laughs> now it's a sweep again. So many problems. I had a hot dog earlier today, guys. And now I'm craving another one. Not really healthy, but so good. Okay, and then right here, just bring it, so you pull it through. Since these are like, were cut with pinking shears, you could just have it meet right here and then just top stitch it. And you'll have like a really cool effect on one side. Or you could kind of bring it over and just sew over this, like stitch in the ditch, sew into your seam and hope you catch it. But I don't know what I want to do. Actually, yeah, we're going to pull it all the way over. Because I just realized that if I sew too, not close enough, the pink and shirt, the cut, I probably won't get all of it. So, due to a little cut. So I'm just going to bring it over. Inside out right now. I should have done that first, but ah. that way you know for sure that you're sewing into that little first seam we sewed with the little band. Oh, I kind of poke myself right now. And if it's a little puckery right now, don't even worry about it. You could always turn it inside out and add more little slashes, notches, whatever you call it. Or you could even trim it close to the seam and hope for the best. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing again. And just, at this point, some parts will, you know, pull out, but it doesn't matter. The trick you could do is just stab through and see if you're catching the little band nicely. Mix it down. Looks like we got it. And I'm gonna start here. <laughs> I always like starting with the big seams. Like the where the seam is. Just get the thicker one out of the way. Yeah. So for this one, I'm actually gonna 
move the camera and bring you guys up close so you guys can see how this goes. I have no idea why I didn't put my camera here from the start, I'm sorry y'all, but <laughs> I, I figured it out now. Okay, so just make sure you're sewing directly into, hold up, let me just fix this light, into that little ditch, the initial little stitching we made. You're gonna wanna go super slow. Ow, poke myself. And you paint as you go. Actually, well, my felt's a little thick, so if you get a thinner one, it might be a way easier than for you than it was for me. That was super close. I almost pinned. I almost sewed over, over my pin. That would not have been good. Actually, if you turn it inside out, it's a little easier. darker thread, you would like not be able to see any of these stitches at all. But I wanted to show you guys where the stitchings are. So this only took about three seams to stitch. One all around, once getting this together, and then the second time pulling it over and just top stitching in place. It's a super simple hat for the amazing look it will serve. So let's flip it inside out and see what it looks like. Her. Look at this, it's so cute, y'all. Look at it. Aww. So, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this seam line back here. It's a little insane, if you ask me. Too thick. Quick fix. 
look like the stitch is missing right here, but we fixed it. And no one's gonna look in here anyways. It doesn't matter. Apparently we cut a little too close right here. And I'm just showing you all of my mistakes so you guys don't think that, you know, YouTube sewers are perfect, because I bet you we're not, but some of them just choose to show you everything in a seamless process, but I like to keep everything in here so you guys can see what could possibly go wrong and how to fix it. on him and clean up a little too you know but. so we'll be right back